America's nation. So it is the event of the day and perhaps one of the more interesting videos of the day. Donald Trump posting this to social media before the eclipse. All right, around the table we go. What do you see? <laughs> well, uh, can I just say, sorry, you know, can uh, I go yeah, before please, you? Please. Are you still collecting I'm yourself? I'm still collecting myself, yes. Um, the rest, I actually watched the video. Besides that whole thing right there, um, the rest of the ad was very patriotic. And I mean, watch even the words here. The rest of the ad was really good. The hair and the covering, it was just a lot. It's a lot of orange. <laughs> a lot it's of orange, that's what orange. you saw? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you see there, Mark? Uh, I, I was, as an ethnomusicology fan, I like that's <laughs> called Zarathustra. That's a oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Very nice. Awesome. Like Elvis. Yeah. That's right. Um, so, you know that uh, the pumpkin spice latte that mm -hmm. Starbucks sells? <laughs> yeah. So, Starbucks doesn't care whether you enjoy the pumpkin spice latte ironically or sincerely as long as you purchase it. Right. So, whether Trump fans enjoy this ironically, that okay. he's being goofy, or whether they are truly idolatrous, uh, it doesn't matter as long as you vote for Trump. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call them La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And a Shalom to you, Sensor Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so uh, actually, let me go back to that real quick. So uh, as you just seen, um, you know, this is a uh, you know uh, another another um how can I put it another um laugh that Esau you know is getting out of you know a sign of you know Yahweh Shmuel Shai and um, you know uh, like they said just now before the eclipse came. Before in the pyramid sky, you had Donald J. Trump, you know, do his own version of the eclipse. Okay, and it was, and it says, what did it say? I want to get it with his face. It says, "We will save America," or, and the scriptures, Babylon. Okay, but the scriptures say, you know that uh. You know the plagues are sent. You know, you know, there's no, uh, you, you know, you can't save, you, you can't save this place, man. You know, Babylon so far, you know, it's in too deep to be saved. This place is a very demonic, satanic, evil, wicked world, man. You know, and that uh, eclipse was was a, a sign from how about Shmuel Shai? You know, people, you know, they looked up at it, just thinking that it's just another. You know, a uh, uh, normal is an, another event. You know, but they're looking at, you know, their, you know, their downfall. Okay, and you know that's the sign of the return of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and um, yeah, man, we're at the end of, of of Babylon, and you know, yeah, this place will not be saved. So without further ado, let's grab this. I'm gonna get a quick. You know, a quick, couple, a few precepts in the Lord's word. This is edifying to the Lord's sheep. Okay, so this is the book of uh, Jeremiah 51 and the NLT. Okay, Jeremiah 51. Oh, excuse me. I thought I could highlight just one side. Never mind. So like you. But Jeremiah 51, of verse 8 to verse 9, and it says, um, yeah, start verse 9. It says, but suddenly Babylon two has fallen we for her give her medicine perhaps she can perhaps she can yet be healed we would have helped her if we if we could but nothing can save her now right nothing can save her you know this place cannot be healed man this place is crumbling from the inside out you know you have a the the, the economy is, is is damn near through okay you have migrants you know squatters in babylon okay you have you know, uh, uh, listen, man, this place is through. 
you know, the, you know, then you have signs in the heavens from Yahweh about Shemal Shai. You know, that's signs from the Lord that we're to, to uh, tell us that we're at the end. You know, you have people complaining on social media about, you know, how they hate Babylon and how, you know, prices are too damn high. And, you know, people are starting to, you know, truly see how this place is, you know, is is, is wicked, you know. And being that it's wicked is going to go out in a blaze of glory, man. This place is going to go out by by thermonuclear missiles, by fire. All right, in World War Three, and that's and that's according to biblical prophecy, you see. So there's no turning back for this place, okay? There's no saving this place. And it says, verse nine, reading one more time. It says, we would have helped her if we could, but nothing can save her now. Nothing can save her, man. You know, not Trump being in office. You know, nothing can save this place from being, for being destroyed, okay? And it says, let her go, abandon her. Return now to your own land, for her punishment reaches to the heavens. It is so great it could not be measured. Right, man, this place is wicked. You know, you know this, uh, this, uh, this whore, you know, has has tainted the whole, the whole world with you know her, uh, you know her, uh, her wine. You know, you know the Westernization. You know the uh, the demonic doctrines. You know the uh, the, uh, the the uh, the craftiness of of Esau Edom. You know, you know, the wickedness of Esau, Edom, he has tainted the whole world. OK, it says the whole world lies in wickedness. You know, first John five and 19. OK, so there is no saving Babylon. And why is that? Because the scriptures say that the plagues are sent. OK, let's let's snag that real quick. This is second edge 16. And. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to read, yeah, yep, I'm going to get this. Yep, 2nd 16 and verse uh, 3. I'll start at 1. It says, Woe we'll be unto thee, Babylon, and Asia. Woe we'll be unto thee, Egypt, and Syria. Gird up, gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Be well your children, and be sorry. For your destruction is at hand, right? Your destruction is at hand, you see? The uh, downfall of Babylon is the inevitable. You can't get around it. Because why? Because it's prophecy. Okay. Verse three, a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back. A fire is sent among you and who may quench it. Plagues are sent unto you. And what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away and hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it have begun, when it have, when it went and had begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Right, man, you can't. Listen, the plagues are sent. You know, you know, if, uh, if, if listen, if, if, uh, if I was to send, you know, a, you know, let's say, um, um, I don't know, let's say, um, if, if I was to send, you know, a package, you know, a package of mail out to someone, you know, I can't, you know, guess what? That, that mail is sent, you know, I can't chase, you know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, um, the mail truck down and, you know, to get the, uh, the mail back, you know, it's sent. So, you know, it's, it's going to, you know, arrive at a destination one way or another. Okay. And, and that's like the plagues. Okay. You can't drive these plagues away. Okay. You can't drive these plagues that the most high sent away because, you know, it's the most high's word. They're not going to return unto him void. Whatever it says goes. OK, point blank, period. All right. Now I'm going to jump down to verse. Uh, 14. OK, and it says, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Meaning what? Meaning that the plagues, meaning that these plagues are going to happen until it hits this place. OK. It's going to happen regardless. All right. So there's no, you know, way getting around prophecy. All right. And, and you know, Esau, of course, you know, you know, he tries to offset prophecy, but he's doing nothing more than fulfilling it. OK. And that's why we always say that the Lord, how about uh, the, the, the Lord, how about Shemal Shai has put this man in a in a, a, um, a huge trick bag. OK. So there is nothing that you can do. To stop what the Lord has, you know, um, planned for Babylon 
and that's utter destruction. Okay. Now we got that. All right. Patriotic, and I mean, what's even the words here? Yeah, the quick. rest of the ad was really good. The hair, the so, rest, I actually watched. Now, right here, you know, when I first uh, watched this video, you know, I was thinking about the scripture when it said the Most High is not mocked. You know, and this is, this is, this is, you know, to me, this is offensive. You know, because you're, you know, you're, um, you're mocking a, a, a sign, you know, uh, from Yahweh Bashim Shah, and you're turning it, you know, um, into something that benefits you. Okay, and what he's doing right here, you know, he made himself. You know, you know, as if he's the eclipse, as if he's gonna, you know, bring back America and you know and uh and, and so called save America. Okay, but that but that's why the scripture say let's grab it real quick. This is the book of Galatians, chapter six and verse seven. It says, Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whosoever a man sold, that shall he also reap. Okay, so the most high, listen, you know, you're not going to, you know, ultimately, listen, the most high is going to get the last laugh. Okay, so him doing this, you know, you know, trying to, you know, put his face up, you know, as the eclipse and, you know, uh, uh, and I took it as, you know, he's making fun of the eclipse, you know, and turn it into something that's. That's completely opposite of what of what it is, which is a sign from Yahweh Shmuel Shai that we're at the end, and that we're, you know, on the brink of Yahweh Shai's return. That's offensive, okay. So Yahweh Shmuel Shai is not mocked, man. Okay, you're not gonna get away, you know, with uh with doing this. You know, the whole nation of Edom is through, you know, and they're looking up at the sky and see the eclipse as if it's, like I said, it's some great event. You know, as if it's some, you know, uh. Like a, a a good omen, but like Pastor Hart said in his uh, in his uh, most recent video, you know, that's a bad omen. Okay, that's a bad omen for Esau, man. That's not a good omen, because the scriptures say. Let's snag that real quick. Second Andrew six, and I'll start at verse seven. And it says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the, the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? So, so right there was an a, a, a omen, all right, a bad omen for Esau. You know, uh, showing him that, you know, it's the, uh, you know, uh, that we're on the brink of your downfall. Okay. But that's a good omen for us because we know that's a sign from Yahweh by Shema Shai to let us know that we're at the end of our captivity, you know, and we're about to be delivered, man. And, you know, and, and you know, and, and Yahweh Shai is about to come back, you know, and take down these, these nations, you know. And then after that, man, the whole, the whole uh, uh, earth is going to dwell in righteousness, man. Because of Yahweh about Shemal Shai, because of the elect, you see, so this place is through, okay. This this place is done, all right. I'm gonna end off on this right here. This is the book of Acts chapter two. And verse, I'll start at verse eighteen, and it says. It says Acts 2 and 18. Oh, excuse me, uh, 17. Shit, <laughs> 16. <laughs> All right. It says, But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, said the Lord Power, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, I will pour, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Right. Because, you know, uh, the Lord can have anybody prophesy. You know, you you, uh, you had uh, the account, I, I believe, in the book of Numbers with the uh, I believe he was a Moabite, either um, 
who was it? It was it uh, Balaam. All right, Bal Balaam or Balak. It was one of the two. But, um, you know, basically the Lord put him in a trance. You know, the Lord put a, you know, put a, um, gave him a vision, you know, to where he's seen, you know, the uh, the end of, uh, the you know, the greatness of, uh, of, um, of Israel, you know, and he's seen how we were flourishing at the, um, you know, you know, uh, flourishing in our rulership, you know, and he said that, you know, he wished to come back as Israelite. So the Lord put it you know, upon his spirit to, you know, prophesy and see that, you know, about us flourishing, you know, in our kingdom. And that's what's coming, you know, you know, um, you know, um, glory. All right, Salaki so about that cut off. Had to handle something real quick. But, um, yeah, you know, um, uh, on Salaki so about the audio. You know, I have the um, <clears throat> my headphones in, so Lord's where well, you can hear me properly. But yeah, you know, he's seen, you know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, us in our, you know, our kingdom, you know. So, you know, the Lord can put the spirit on anybody, you know, the Lord can have anybody prophesy, you know. And uh, these last days, people are, you know, um, you know, prophesying about the nukes. You know, you had a Jake prophesy about the nuclear missiles, you know. So, yeah, man, you know, we're definitely at the end, okay? And it says, verse 18, And on my servants and on my handmaids, I'll pour, I'll pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, which means to say before something happens, right? And I will shoot, and I will shoot wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, right, man? And what's that? You know the uh, the, the solar eclipse, okay? The the sun was dark, man. The sun, the moon overlapped the sun, okay? And that happened today, or or yesterday, you know, I should say. And it says, "In the moon into blood," right? Your blood moons, you know, all these are signs in the heavens. And it says, "In the moon into blood," before that great and notable day of the Lord, how shall I come? You see, so we're at the end, man, you know, and that eclipse was a, a sign of, you know, Esau's demise, a sign of our deliverance. Okay, that's why the scriptures say, look up, because your uh, your your uh, your salvation is nigh at hand. Okay, uh, of course, you know, loosely paraphrasing it in Luke 21 and verse 28, you see, so we're definitely at the end of Esau Edom's, you know, rulership, you know, and we're at the... Uh, you know, the end of, the, of this captivity, you know, so, hey, man, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, okay? So, with that being said, I just want to say, call on la Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kakwadash, though by honor be unto the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well, and I shall want to Anki Mount there as that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kakwadash, and Lord's Lord, his lesson was edifying to the Lord's sheep. With that being said, Shalom.